Who was the Red Kraken, Dalton Greyjoy? Why do the Reavers of the Iron Islands still see him as a hero? Dalton Greyjoy, son of the heir to the Iron Islands, loved the sea, his sword and women. Rumours say he was rowing at the age of five and was reaving with the other Ironborn at ten. He did this with his uncle, raising pirate towns in the Basilisk Isles. At fourteen, he was travelling as far as Old Gis, a ruined city in the region of Giscar Esso, and claimed four salt wives from a dozen actions. He had a Valerian steel longsword. He had taken it from a corsair. The sword was called Nightfall. At fifteen, his uncle was slain, whilst they fought in the Stepstones, a chain of islands east of Dawn. He avenged this death, taking a dozen wounds. He became drenched in blood, from heel to head, and his men called him the Red Kraken. Dalton claimed the throne of Pike on his father's death and raised a crew. He ordered the Iron Men to build longships, forge swords and train the ship's crew to fight with him. He told people, the storm is coming. The next year, upon the death of their father, Rhaenyra Targaryen and her brother Aegon fought for the Iron Throne in a civil war. The Kraken laughed at hearing this. Rhaenyra and her blacks held advantage in the civil war. She had support from the sea snake Corlys, Valyrian, a legend he commanded her fleets. To combat that advantage, King Aegon was counselled to offer the Kraken a place on his small council. He would then, on behalf of the crown, battle the sea snake. The wily Kraken waited to see what the princess might offer before deciding. She asked him to attack only her enemies, so unlike Aegon, he would not have to sail around Westeros on his longships to fight the sea snake. One of those enemies were the Lannisters at Casterly Rock. They were close to the Kraken and vulnerable, the forces there having been led away by Jason Lannister to attack the Princess Rhaenyra. Lord Jason was killed in the Riverlands and his host, with no clear leader, moved from fight to fight under ever-changing commanders. The Ironborn and their Kraken fell upon the Westerlands. The rock itself was too strong though. Jason's widow, Johanna, barred its gates, but the Lannister's fleet was burnt and Lannisport sat. Gold, grain and goods to trade were taken, and many women and girls were taken too, as salt wives. These salt wives included the mistress of the fallen lord and their daughters. Faircastle, the seat of the family farman, is on Fair Isle, along the western coast of Westeros, and it was taken by the Red Kraken. As reward, Dalton took four daughters of Lord Farman as salt wives, or concubines. A last one, called the homely one, he gave to his brother. Then, for their weight in silver, Farman's father and sons were ransomed to Casterly Rock. For two years the Red Kraken ruled the Sunset Sea, as his forefathers had. Wars were also fought elsewhere, and the princess, who had given Dalton her authority, was killed, as was Aegon, and a young boy, and the son of Princess Rhaenyra, was placed on the throne, with a council in charge. At Castle Rock, Lady Johanna continued to resist the plundering of the Kraken. She ruled in the name of her son. Dalton was ignoring rules set by the throne to not raid. This was not helped by the young king, and the king's hand was also a Lannister. Dalton was asked to restore the wives he had captured. Only the drowned god may sunder the bond between a man and his salt wives. Asked also to restore Fair Isle, he said if they rose from beneath the sea, he would be happy to. Johanna Lannister tried to build a fleet to combat him, but Dalton attacked their shipyards and burnt them, and stole another hundred women as a prize. The women of the West prefer men of iron to cowardly lions, it would seem, for they jump into the sea and plead with us to take them. Lady Johanna, having failed to gain help from the king's hand, dressed in mail to lead the Lannister forces. Tales have said she slew a dozen ironborn at Case, the seat of House Kenning, which was controlled by the ironborn. But she actually took a banner and inspired the men, and they saved Case. The Red Kraken's favourite uncle was amongst the dead. A new admiral, Alan Oakenfist, was tasked by Aegon III to stop the Reavers, so he set out to take back the Fair Isle and defeat Dalton. The Kraken, meanwhile, had to deal with the Lannisters again. After taking back Fair Isle, Lady Johanna 
gathered fishing boats and cogs and filled them with night and men at arms and sailed under cover of night to take back Fair Isle. But they were betrayed, the Greyjoys were waiting, the Red Kraken sent the heads of Lord Prester, Tarbeck and Sir Erwin Lannister in reply to Castle Rock. Payment for my uncle, though in truth he was a glutton and a drunkard and the Isles are well rid of him. Warned of Oaken Fist, the Red Kraken had gathered hundreds of longships and said he would send that boy down to the halls of the drowned god and that he would then sack Old Town and Sunspear and claim the island Driftmark as his and bragged he might also take Baela Targaryen as his salt wife. I have two and twenty salt wives, but not a one with silver hair. One of his salt wives, who was called Tess, one night at Faircastle, as Dalton's fleet was gathered, after she was used for pleasure by him, and he was asleep, she opened his throat from ear to ear, and then threw herself into the sea below. The dagger used was his own. His captain slipped away, and as he'd never taken a rock wife, a true wife, who can give airs, and with no clear air amongst the salt wives, a war for power came amongst the iron men. The folk of Fair Isle took the chance and fought the Iron Men and threw them out, and so when Alan Oakenfist arrived to free the island, it was already free. Lady Johanna Lannister rewarded Alan with a seahorse wrought in gold. Later, Johanna Lannister took her full revenge against the deceased Kraken. Embroiled in their own internal war of succession, the Iron Men didn't see the Lannister troops land and begin killing men women and children they took one of the kraken's salt sons and the boy was gelded and made into johanna's son's fool despite his own fate and that of his son he's still celebrated by the ironborn as a hero thank you for checking out my video please like subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications